Hello YouTube, you right? So today I wanted to make this video because I am not a mechanic. In fact, I have never really done any mechanical jobs on a car. And uh, while I don't aspire to be a full-on mechanic, I would like to learn to do some of the jobs myself just to, you know, make the business run a bit smoother and so I don't have to outsource so much work. I'd like to do some of the simple stuff myself. So why not start learning? I'm going to install a valve cover on my Vauxhall Mariva. So anyway, come along with me. Let's go and fit a valve cover. All right, so it's actually the next day. Um, the post didn't come till pretty late, so I was waiting on this. Um, it has actually arrived, so thank you, Royal Snail. Uh, I've finally got my package and I'm ready to fit it to the car. So I went out and I got myself a proper torque wrench because I didn't have one. And uh, I know officially you're meant to torque down uh, the, the bolts on, uh, on the valve cover. So I got myself a nice uh, Magnuson torque wrench. So yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, quarter inch. And I can't believe it. I've been waiting ages to get the V5, the logbook uh, from the DVLA. Uh, it took about two, two, three weeks. So, you know, they say up to four if you're a new keeper registering the car uh, without a logbook, which is what I was doing. So uh, yeah, they've, they've sent me a logbook. But oh my God, the car has eight previous keepers. But for a 2011 car with nine owners, that's just mad. All right, uh, let's just get it fitted to the car. How hard can it be? Yeah, it's just got a bunch of plastic covers that just want to come off. Actually, that's got oil on it, so that can go somewhere else. Um, but it, it's pretty straightforward. The valve cover is pretty, um, pretty easy to access here, and uh, there isn't really much in the way. So on this car, the PCV or the check valve um, is a really common failure, and mine had actually failed. Instead of just replacing it with another bad quality one straight from GM, which was going to break at some point again, I thought I'd use an aftermarket option and put one in that wasn't going to break anytime soon and that was more reliable. So I bought a kit, built it and installed it. And uh, yeah, here, here it is. This is the kit that I've installed, which is the custom plumbing um, for the PCV and the turbo. This is a much better design and it's going to work much better than the, uh, the OEM PCV valve. Now the second valve that is a bit of trouble is this one, um, which is called the membrane, which is on the actual valve cover. Now, because it's integrated into the valve cover or rocket cover, you can't actually replace this membrane uh, itself. It's like a little valve that lets air uh, into the crankshaft, I believe, or somewhere into the engine to relieve uh, or to increase the pressure. So yeah, got to replace the whole thing, which is what I'm doing. And uh, because clearly it's leaking, you can see the oil leaking from around the cover, uh, it's just worth doing the whole thing with a new gasket, new bolts, all that as well. So um, yeah, here we are. Hopefully the car runs well after this, but we shall see. Let's, uh, let's crack on. Okay, so I've removed the valve cover and that was actually pretty easy. Um, yeah, there wasn't much in the way. All these wires are tucked far enough out of the way, or plumbing rather, and cables. So um, apparently it's had a new chain quite recently and the chain looks good. Bear in mind, this car has done 102,000 miles, um, but I think everything looks pretty good. Um, I mean, there are definitely gonna be people who know more than me out there. So does this all look all right to you? <laughs> Do these lobes look good? I guess these are lobes, right? Right, I've cleaned up the surface as well as I think it needs to be. Look at all that, all that gasket maker. Whoever last did this job, just chucked on the gasket maker everywhere. That was a real pain to get out. But anyway, I've done it, it's all out. Um, 
wash my hands, <laughs> really oily job. But uh, yeah, got rid of all the gaskets. I will clean that up later. And I think I'll put some, I'll take this off and put some brake clean on it, make the heat shield uh, look a little nicer. So um, yeah, that's that. I'm just gonna cover this up so we don't get any junk in there. And um, I'm gonna go have some lunch. So here's where I'm at with the car. I've done the work, I've fitted the valve cover, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's gone on all right. You saw in the video, it, it went on okay, I guess. And um, well, I wanna see if it's worked or not, but the battery is absolutely dead. So, um, so I can't tell whether it's been done or not, so I'll have to wait to do that. Um, I'm gonna throw the battery on charge um, today or tomorrow, whatever. And uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll start it up and we'll see. Okay, so it's a couple days later and honestly, I'm just so done with this car. After working with this car and trying to get it retail ready and fixed up, I just, my overall opinion of these GM 1.4 turbo engines is just that they are absolute junk. Absolute junk. So anyway, we're going to start it up. If it starts and it idles happily and it runs smooth, then uh, good. But if it doesn't, I'm probably just going to scrap it. I mean, it's just, I've spent a lot of time on this. Anyway, let's just get the charger unplugged and see if it starts. It is running, it sounds a bit rough, it's jumping up around 1k idling, but it just, it feels like it's missing a bit. Oh, wow, 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 I haven't plugged something in, oh my god. Um, I hadn't plugged one of the valve hoses in, some of the plumbing. Uh, that's probably why it was missing a tad. Alright, let's, let's try round two, let's try round two. Oh, that sounds much happier. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, let's see if the valve's working. Or whether it's sucking in air. It's sucking in air, but just the tiniest amount. I think it might be all right, you know. It might be all right. It's idling pretty happy at eight, 900 revs. Hmm. I think all my work might have paid off. All, both the replaced PCV valves might have worked. Oh my God, it sounds happy. It sounds happy. I, I'm, hang on, I'm just having a moment here. This has taken me quite a while because I've had to order parts from America. So it has taken me a while, but um, oh, it's running beautifully. Look. Can you hear it? It's just, it's running absolutely beautifully. Listen. It's happy and it's not even leaking oil anymore. So I've replaced the valve cover well. Well, on that lovely note, make sure you subscribe, leave a like and uh, talk to me in the comments. But I think we might have done it. Cheers to that.